Bulgaria Innovation Hub is a bridge. When you build a bridge, you build it with one material on both sides. You don't start with stone and end up with wood or something else, right? So if you build a like a bridge from between Bulgaria and US, you have to build it with Bulgarians on that side and Bulgarians on the other side. That's the best bridge and launch pad into this market. This isn't a program where you just sit and listen. You have to actively participate and, um, and take a, to, to be able to take full advantage of all the content. Because the content is not only the speakers, but also generated by all the other participants. So that's really important. We joined Bulgarian Innovation Hub because I really believed in the people. Um, I was never, I haven't planned anytime soon to be a part of an accelerator. We were a couple of years ago a part of Techstars and so I felt that I, I got whatever I needed to continue growing my business. But then when I learned about the people behind the program, I was like very glad to join them, to get to meet them, to be closer to them. And I was very much um, surprised uh, um, how passionate they are for helping the Bulgarian society. In our history with, uh, with Telerik, uh, launching on the US was natural because we were uh, mostly an online uh, sales business. But once we started uh, expanding physically opening offices, some of the biggest challenges were from day one, how to set up uh, a company, how to recruit the, the first people. When, when you have pretty much no one to rely on for any of those things, you don't have a network, you don't have uh, uh, people who you can more or less uh, approach for, for guidance when you don't have uh, knowledge, it, it was complicated. And really that's, that, that's one of the major drivers why we wanted to, to see the hub uh, get a life. The vision of the Bulgarian Innovation Hub is to help create um, a couple of unicorns in this country, hopefully in the next couple of years. Um, and um, We'll do that by creating a two-way bridge between um, the Bulgarian ecosystem and Silicon Valley. For all of us who are involved in the, in the hub, in establishing the hub, it's a passion project. It's a, it's a um, non-governmental organization, it's a non-profit, and it exists to, to really address a bottleneck in the, in the ecosystem. Our soft landing services include a world-class go-to-market education curriculum, community and network access to Silicon Valley mentors, advisors, and investors, and a benefits package worth over $65,000, including $15,000 in AWS technology credits. If you want to go to the US market, you want to understand what's the difference between our market and the US market. And the people that can tell you what's the difference is are the people that know both. Every company has uh, several key uh, competitive advantages. And uh, at that program, Bogi slashed one of our competitive advantages. <laughs> so, so we had to refocus a bit and that was very, very helpful. We were talking about low, low prices and uh, low budgets. And we were told that this is not a topic. My most memorable moment was probably when I was uh, pitching in front of Jerry Chen from the Greywalk Ventures uh, in the very end of the program. Uh, it was memorable for me because I'm, I, have a, I come from a deep technical background, uh, so I have little to no business experience and this was actually my very first inv investor pitch uh, ever. The most memorable insight we, we again from the program was, was how to do a great product demo. Uh, and though it's what I'm going to say probably is close to mind, it is do it from the perspective from the customer. Show him or her what he's going to use your product for when he sits on, on her his or her desk and what his or her is going to benefit from this. Though it is simple when I say it, usually what we do in all the companies, we just show the functionalities and how great the product is, but actually what, that what's, uh, not what's the benefit. I remember one of the lectures was definitely an eye-opening moment for me. Uh, it was about uh, business analysts and the fact that they are not just people researching the markets and uh, providing useful statistics, but actually a key connection between customers, between startups, between uh, investors. And um, for the first time, I realized that they might be maybe some of the best advocates for your startup. I guess the one that stuck the most with me was 
uh, the topic of how Tesla manages their performance uh, for their employees. How do they always keep a constantly um, uh, super qualified, super talented and super motivated uh, talent base coming in and staying with the company and performing at top level. The most valuable piece of information, and again, it's very difficult to pick one, but definitely the most valuable as it stands today is the storytelling uh, lecture that Bogomil did because it, uh, it allowed me to put into perspective a lot of the things that we do on a daily basis and it had an effect on, on, on the things that I talk with customers and partners daily and, and I can see the effect of this like for two weeks. One of the biggest things that we also hope to address is really the ambition. Uh, because ambition in many ways is a factor of, uh, of your market, of your ecosystem. It's a dream come true. It was maybe about two years ago when Vasil Ivan Pavlina and I sat in a cafe in the East Bay and we started dreaming and thinking of Bulgarian Innovation Hub. And two years later, it's a reality. We kicked off the Accelerator program in October of 2019 with only five startups here in San Francisco. And in less than eight months, in the midst of a global pandemic, we managed to exponentially scale the effort to 21 companies in June of 2020. But we're not stopping here.